Hello YouTube. Uh, my last video was I showed you how to do a backup with Ace Backup. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to restore your backup if you ever have to go back to factory settings or format or whatever the case may be. Uh, it's still just as simple. Uh, once you restore your computer back to factory, plug in your external hard drive or your thumb drive or CD or whatever it is you use to back up to. Reinstall Ace Backup. Uh, once it's reinstalled, you get this screen. Click Project. Go to Import. Uh, this path probably won't say that, but you hit Browse. Go to your uh, backup, uh, wherever it was backed up to. In my case, it's Drive I Backup Demo. The Do It Yourself PC Backup Demo. Click OK. Hit Next. It imported 181 files, 161 folders. 90.53 megs of data. So you hit finish. Here's everything that I re, uh, backed up before. Now you'll notice on my desktop I have AMP stuff. So I'm going to delete that. And under my documents I have documents and my pictures. So I'm going to delete everything under documents and everything under my pictures just to, just to show you that it, it does work okay so now that we have everything restored or imported back to ace backup to do a restore we're real simple click restore now click D or C or whatever drive letter it is and hit next now you have three options here you can either restore to the original location, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, if you backed up from Windows XP or Windows Vista or Windows 7, uh, I would probably just go ahead and leave that the same because wherever you backed it up from, uh, the odds are you want it to go back to those locations. Uh, you can do that. In some rare cases, if you back up from XP to Vista or to 7, you might want to use this option because uh, in your user settings and pictures are in a different location in XP than they are in Vista and 7. So you might want to use this this option here. Uh, just click browse. You know, go to your computer, your documents, make a new folder, uh, whatever you want to call it, and then move your data from there. Uh, your third option is to use this option here. You got to click restore the original location, and then click this option. This will let you, if you have if you have a camera or if you didn't do a complete format, just uh, like a non-destructive format, and you have some pictures there but you don't have them all, or say you accidentally deleted a photo album and you emptied your recycle bin, well, if you check this box here, this box will allow you to restore items that are missing. As you can see, it says Smart Restore, only missing or different items will be restored. So it's, uh, it's a good way to where, like I said, if you accidentally deleted pictures and emptied your recycle bin, you can't get them back. Uh, this will let you restore just the missing pictures. Um, so uh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, right now, I'm going to just click the first one, Restore to Original Locations. Make sure this is checked down here. Process Restoring Immediately. Hit Next. Okay, the wizard has finished all operations, 181 files, folders have been processed. If you look over here, you see my AMP stuff icon has not returned. Everything's in it. If you go to my documents and documents, you see everything is back. If you go to my pictures, all my pictures have not been restored. Uh, they all do work, <laughs> you know. Um, so that's how you do a restore with Ace Backup. Uh, very, very simple. Just click finish and close. Uh, you don't have to save the project. I never do. Well, there you go, YouTube. That's how you do a system uh, or a restore a backup from Ace Backup. I hope this helps somebody. And if you guys uh, want to learn how to do anything or don't know how to do something or uh, just have any questions in general, feel free to leave a comment or email me at the DIYPC at gmail.com. Do it yourself, PC. All right, YouTube. Have a good night.